As an alternative technique to using the plane animations that I showed before, you can also use plane offsets, like which are used on this object over here. Essentially, it takes the sprite sheet that you can see in this window, creates a starting tile, in this case since it's 8 frames, it's 1 divided by 8, 0.125 for the starting size, and then moves through it by changing the offset for X. You can also change the offset for Y if you tile it up and down. In most sprite sheets are done from left to right, so it's best to adopt that technique. Anyway, this sprite, this one here, is using the script sprite sheet. What it does is it takes the number of frames inside the sprite sheet, takes the current frame, and then in the update function, make sure it's stuck to the z-axis like the other sprites. Then on on collision enter, every time it's hit by something that isn't the ground, it takes the offset and increases it by 1.0 divided by the number of frames. Essentially, increasing the offset by the amount needed to move to the next frame on the sprite. And then it increases the current frame by 1. Basically, every time you increase a number by a number created by a float, you have a slight float inaccuracy included. So if you kept going forward without readjusting to the start and setting it to a static number, eventually you'd have a tiny bit of offset on the image itself. And for most sprites, that would be noticeable. So, whenever the current frame is above the number of frames, reset the texture offset dot x to zero, or reset it to the first frame, instead of continuing it on. You'd get the same result if it was 1.125, or just 1.0. But, if you do it this way, then the float inaccuracies that would build up by increasing it over time would be completely eliminated. And then, when it is greater than that, the current frame is reset to 1. And that's essentially how you do the render material main texture offset. Notice that the main texture offset is exactly the same as the offset here. If I set this to 0.125, then this animation is moved forward by one frame. Same for 0 0.25, 0 0.375, and the original of 0. Let's see this in action. Essentially, the sword character makes this happy face very unhappy until it eventually shoves him off. So push, push, push. Oh, he's getting unhappy. And he's happy again. Using this technique, you could also animate it like in the other script. You'd give it a time period, taking the script that you have here, and instead of saying every time it hits, You'd say an update, wait a period, and then render.material.maintexture.offset.x plus equals 1.0 divided by number of frames. And you do that no matter how many frames there were on the item. So, for instance, if this one had a sprite sheet of 24 frames, all you'd have to do is change the number of frames in the inspector over here in Unity, change the number of frames to 24, and then it would move forward by 1 24th and also it would only reset when current frame reached the number frame 24. Using this technique, pretty much any sprite sheet can be animated, and you don't have to have multiple textures if you use this technique.